What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a beginner's guide to the Cricut Magic 5G. Now as always, if you end up wanting to learn more about this phone, be sure to check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So to start off, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change your wallpaper. Now to do this, it's real simple. What you're going to want to do is go to settings. Then from here, go to wallpaper and style. So right here, from this menu, go to change wallpaper. And as you can see, we get a few different options. So these down here are essentially the pre-installed wallpapers that are already going to be on the phone. And of course, you can also use your own photos. So to change your wallpaper, select one. So we're going to go like this. Then from here, as you can see, you get a preview of both your home screen and your lock screen, so you can adjust it however you want. When you're done, hit the check mark. And as you can see, you can choose between home screen, lock screen, or both. So choose whichever one you want, and that's pretty much it. Now that was easy enough, but now I'm going to show you an even quicker way to change your wallpaper and change some additional settings too. So for this, what you're going to want to do is press and hold your finger on a blank spot on your home screen. So not on an app or a widget, if you do that it's going to do this, which is not quite what we want. So again, press and hold your finger on a blank spot on your home screen, so like this. And this menu is going to show up. So as you can see from here, you can change your wallpaper, add and remove widgets, and customize some additional home screen settings. So definitely nice and convenient, especially if you're setting your phone up for the first time because while of course you can access all this from the settings menu itself, having an extra shortcut is never a bad thing. Now I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot with the Cricut Magic 5G. Now, taking a screenshot is a pretty simple feature, but essentially, to take a screenshot with this phone, press and hold your power key and the volume down key at the same time. And keep in mind, you don't actually have to hold the buttons, just press them real quick. So like this. And there we go. So you can share it, edit it, whatever you want to do, and it's going to save right to your photos. So again, pretty simple, and don't forget, you don't actually have to hold the buttons down. All you have to do is press them and make sure they are at the same time. But aside from that, it is definitely one of the easier features to use. Now I'm going to show you how to control which apps can send you notifications. Now on one hand, notifications can of course be useful in certain situations, but as you get more and more apps, they're all most likely going to send you notifications and when you get notifications you don't really want or need, not only can this get annoying, but it also makes it easier to miss something important. So if you ever want to turn off notifications for a specific app, all you have to do is go to settings. From here, go to notifications. Then from here, go to app settings. Now as you can see by default, it will show you the most recent, but if you want to see everything, hit this drop down, go to all apps, and this is going to show you everything on your phone. And then, to turn off notifications for a certain app, simply toggle it off, and that's pretty much it. Now we're going to take a quick look at the sound menu. Now of course you can technically get to this from the settings menu, but an easier way to do it is by pressing either volume key, hit these dots right here, then from here, go to settings. And this is the main sound menu. So as you can see up top we got a few different volumes. Media volume, so if you're watching a video or listening to music. Call volume, so the earpiece when you're on a call. And then we got notification volume, ring volume, and alarm volume. So pretty straightforward. Under this we got do not disturb, which keep in mind, while you can turn it on and off from this menu, an easier way to do it is by going to your quick menu. To do this, swipe down twice from the top. So one, two, and do not disturb is right here. Then from here, we got the ringtone, so if we go here, we got our default ringtone, a lot of other presets, and if you want, at the bottom, you can also add your own. Under this we got live caption, so a pretty cool accessibility feature. Then from here, then from here if you go to advanced, we got the vibration and haptic section. So if we go here, by default the vibration will be on, and it will also be on for several other things, so alarm vibration, touch feedback, media vibration, but if you want you can turn these off. In addition to this, we got the alarm and notification sounds, so pretty similar to the ringtone, we got a default as well as lots of presets. And just like the ringtone, you can also add your own at the bottom. Then we got alarm sound, which, again, pretty much the same thing, you can add your own here. And there are also lots of presets. And then finally, at the very bottom, we got several different system sounds, so dial pad tones, screen locking sound, charging sounds and vibration, touch sounds, and always show icon when in vibrate mode. These are off by default, but if you want, you can turn them on. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to edit your quick menu. Now like I said before, the quick menu is the menu at the top of your screen, so if you swipe down twice, so again, one, two, 
There we go. As you can see, it gives us access to a bunch of different features. So if you want to customize it, hit the pencil icon. And up top here, this section is everything you currently have on the menu. And at the bottom, below this line, this is going to show you everything you can add. To take something off, press and hold on the icon, so like this. Drag it to the other side. So like that. And then to add something, do the same thing. So there we go. When you're done, simply hit the back button right here. And to reset it, hit these dots. Hit reset. And this is going to bring it back to the default. Now I'm going to show you how to change your system navigation. So by default, as you can see down here, we got the typical three button navigation you normally get with an Android phone, but we can change this. So to do this, go to your settings. Then from here, go to system. So right here. From here, go to gestures. And then from here, go to system navigation. So again, as you can see, by default, we will have three button navigation, but if you want, you can change it to gesture navigation. So if we do this, now instead of buttons, we're gonna get one line down here, so a bit more minimalistic. And in case you've never used this before, let me show you how it works. To go home, swipe up like this. To go to your recent apps, drag your finger partially up, so like that. And to go back, swipe from the side. So definitely real easy to use, and while it may or may not be for everyone, I definitely recommend giving it a try, because you might end up liking it. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to change your screen lock. Now by default the screen lock is a pin like pretty much every smartphone nowadays, and I personally use the fingerprint scanner as well. Now to get to your screen lock, what you're going to do is go to settings. Then from here, go to security. So right here. From this menu, go to screen lock. Enter your current pin. And as you can see, from the screen, you can choose between none, swipe, pattern, pin, or password. Now none and swipe are basically no security at all. The only difference between the two is that with none, you pretty much don't even get a lock screen, whereas with swipe, it's not really a lock screen per se, but it does kind of have another screen besides the home screen and the display being off. But still, I personally don't recommend these two, because again, they don't have any security at all. Then we got pattern, so. Pretty straightforward. Pin, again, this is pretty much the standard for any Android phone. And if you want real high security, password is always an option. In addition to this, if we go back to the main security menu, so like this, under the screen lock, you can also set up the fingerprint scanner and the face unlock. Now I'm going to show you how to get to your NFC settings. Now in case you don't know what it is, NFC is basically the main technology behind contactless mobile payment services. So if you like to use tap and pay, keep in mind that's basically what NFC is. So when you're setting it up for the first time, this is where you're going to go. So to get to your NFC settings, go to settings. Then from here, go to connected devices. Then from here, go to connection preferences. So right here. And as you can see, NFC is right here, so tap here. And as you can see, NFC is on by default, but if for whatever reason you want to turn it off, you can of course toggle it off right here. In addition to this, if you go to contactless payments, you can set up your default payment app. So whether it's Google Pay, which is pretty much the default for, I want to say anything besides a Samsung, but you can also use something like Amex Pay for example. And then finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to use dark mode. Now dark mode is a real simple feature, and there are actually two different ways to get to it. The first way is by going to settings. Then from here, go to display. So right here. And in this menu, as you can see right here under appearance, dark theme is right here, so toggle it on. And that's pretty much it. So pretty cool. In addition to this, if you go here, you can also add a schedule, so by default it will be off, but you can also have it turn on at a custom time, or from sunset to sunrise. In addition to this, what you can also do is add it to your quick menu. So again, to do this, swipe down twice from the top, so 1, 2, then from here, go to edit, find it at the bottom, so right here, press and hold, drag it up, and now it is in the quick menu. So once it's in here, if you ever want to turn it on or off, all you have to do is go to the quick menu, find it. So again, it's right here, tap the icon, and that's pretty much it. And keep in mind, you can also schedule it from here, so if you go back, press and hold, it'll take you right to it. But this concludes my beginner's guide to the Cricut Magic 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about this phone, definitely check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. 
If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipa's Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.